Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk about the trailer that just came out today at the time of me recording this uh, for Lucifer Season 5 Part 2. If you haven't seen it already, I'll include a link to it in the description down below. I'm so pumped for this. I was so excited, like, finally getting to know, like, okay, what can I expect from Season, uh, for the second half of Season 5. The one thing I knew going into this was the musical episode, just because of DC fandom, but other than that, I didn't know what to expect. So we get the reveal, like, obviously God's going to be kicking around maybe an episode or two. I'd like to believe it's going to be more than just one episode, but maybe he kind of pops in and out throughout over the course of the second half of the season. But obviously we see, like, him hanging out with Lucifer, Michael, Aminadol, and Linda at dinner. Because that's going to be an interesting thing because it's like, hey, here's your children plus the mother of your grandchild, you know. So that's going to be an interesting conversation, like, how he feels about all of that. Especially considering, like, one of, like, Lucifer, like, one of their sim... One of their siblings came to try and retrieve um, that child and take them to like you know heaven so it's like what's that conversation going to be like now obviously you have Chloe confronting God being like oh you're a terrible father respectfully but also it's like Chloe might finally get some answers to why she was made because it was like you know Aminadol was acting on God's behalf like so it's like what was your plan for me like maybe she'll finally get some closure on that part maybe we'll finally get closure because my thing is and my thought has always been because I actually did a thoughts and theories about this a while back is that I don't think God had a plan he was actually kind of free-flowing things like he wanted he wanted to create Chloe is it specifically for Lucifer no but I think she, he thought like hey maybe you can you know, at the end of the day, it's free will, free choice, you know, but that, that maybe that's going to be an argument of like, well, does that exist in this? Like, is everything predetermined? Do humans really have free will? You know, that's a complicated thing for Lucifer because it's like, yeah, you've always been controlling. You're the one that depicted me as like this great evil. Like, that's on dad. Like, obviously, like the long list of daddy issues that Lucifer has, that's going to be an interesting conversation. Because he's trying to be there. It's like, hey, you know, throwing the old pigskin around as he's like throwing a football at Lucifer and just kind of like, oh. And he's tearing Lucifer down because it's like, oh, you're working with the cops and stuff. Where's your desk? Oh, why don't you have a desk like Dan? I'm like, oh, maybe eventually you can work your way up and be just as high level as Dan is. Which is the biggest insult to Lucifer because it's like, what? Dan's a loser. What are you talking about, Dad? You're tearing me down, which I'm curious, will Dan appreciate that or not? Uh, probably not, because I'm sure Lucifer's gonna tear him down even more. Obviously, they have their complicated back and forth of a relationship. But we even see that even during uh, certain parts of the episode, Dan, I mean, through the trailer, we see Dan kind of dressed like Lucifer. I think he's just, I think he's gonna be a little more, I think he's gonna go down a route of like, okay, I'm gonna do my Lucifer thing. Uh, obviously, Chloe kind of had her moments in the past where, like, obviously Lucifer lost his mojo and she ended up getting it. Uh, so she kind of did the Lucifer thing for a while. So now we have Dan kind of doing it because, obviously, Dan's been kind of lost ever since Charlotte died. He's just kind of been on the decline, ups and downs, kind of going towards the dark side. So maybe this particular episode, he's embracing more of, you know, I'm going to be more like Lucifer and not care and do this and that. So that's going to, it seems like that's going to be a really interesting case because I'm sure it's only going to be like a one-off case. We have Lucifer and God in therapy. It's like, okay, this is, this is probably like the peak of like Linda's like, you know, career. Like, oh my God, I'm having like the most like, celestial therapy session. I, I can't talk to this about anyone. I can be vague about the father-son relationship, but like this is the most peak profession. Like any professional would lose their damn mind at the opportunity to have Lucifer and God like deal with their father-son issues, you know? So um, there's that. There's the element of, you know, um, God saying that he's retiring, uh, whether that's really true or whether that's just kind of a thing of, I'm curious to see how my children are going to react, which is, uh, once again, it's always interesting because, like, you know, there's supernatural stuff and then, like, Lucifer, so, like, there's, like, comparisons and contrasts, like, oh, like, God kind of, like, left heaven in um, Supernatural and it's kind of similar in this regard. I mean, hell, even, even like, uh, Vertigo comics-wise, there's a whole preacher situation. It's sim similar thing in a certain regard and that, when you actually kind of think about it, it's kind of actually interesting, but... Lucifer's decided like, wait, my dad's going to retire. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be God. Like for him, it's like, this is my chance to prove I can do my dad's job better than him. Like he failed in many different regards. There was even this point later on, like, it's like, you know, um, Ella's like, oh, dad joke. And he's like, yeah, you know, I'm getting started. And Chloe looks at him. So it makes it think maybe there's at least an episode where they think she might be pregnant and she might be pregnant with his kid. Maybe that's kind of like, uh, I think that's something we potentially could see. Um... But 
you know, him thinking like, you know, it's like, oh, his dad's been so controlling and his dad's done like everything wrong. It's like, now I'm going to do everything right, which is going to be the complicated thing because Lucifer, you know, it takes a while for Lucifer to kind of recognize his issues and come to like the correct, correct conclusions that like, you know, Linda tries to point his direction. Once again, we've learned that it's not just him. Chloe does the exact same thing, which makes them such a match made in heaven uh, or hell or earth, however you want to break that down. But, um, I think that's such an interesting element of like, you know, like what is he going to try and do as God? I think that's going to play a role in the musical episode because it's like, did God orchestrate that or is Lucifer playing the role of God do that? You know, because it's like, well, with him trying to take over being God, he's probably like workshopping some stuff, but he probably doesn't actually get to do the whole God thing uh, because it turns out that's going to be an element between him and Michael. Michael wants to be the new, it's like, oh, if anyone's going to replace that, it's going to be me. I'm the favorite son, yada, 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 um, which that's, which it's like, oh, he's gathering an army. It seems like, so we're, we're potentially getting what I've always wanted, more of their siblings, because there's other angels from heaven that have kind of popped up on earth. Because we see at one point, it's like, I'm in a Lucifer and Chloe in front of like a whole bunch of angels so it's kind of a duel to decide like who's going to become the next god between Lucifer and Michael so that's going to be interesting we see Mazikeen with Eve so it's like hey uh, whether she's going to be a bigger part of this season this part of the season or not whether she's only going to pop up a little bit it's going to be interesting because a part of Maze's story has always been yeah she's kind of found her own independence but she still kind of latches on to people whether it's Lucifer Aminadol Linda Chloe um Dan to a certain extent and then eventually Eve it's like she kind of latches on to people Eve seems like the most legitimately situation of like oh I'm in love uh wasn't like reciprocated like those feelings weren't like 100% mutual to a certain extent but maybe that now they are now that Eve's kind of ventured out kind of just rediscovered herself you know what that necessarily means for Maze maybe it's like oh we can have a happily ever after now we also see her and Lucifer on better terms but to be fair it's like that's kind of part of, like I'm sure Lucifer will be like oh that's kind of our part part of our dynamic we're good one moment she wants to kill me the next yada 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 it's like oh like stay mad at each other you know they literally had that conversation of stay mad at each other uh, that's such a human thing thing you know it's like you know we've been around so long we've had our ups and downs probably even more so since coming to earth but it seems like they're on good terms again so especially interesting considering like the showdown between you know with her and michael versus aminadol and um lucifer so i'm so pumped for this season uh really quickly uh there is the line where it's like chloe's like well why don't you say it and he's like if i say those three words it would be a lie and so the thing is what are those three words? I love you. I hate you. I think it's supposed to imply like it's I love you, but it's like Lucifer does care for her, but that's the thing of whether he loves her or not. Because that's also the thing too. It's like if he can fix things with his dad because it's like, dad, you kind of screwed me up. You know, like you complicated me and messed me up to the point like, I can't have a regular relationship because you screwed me up so much. So it's like, if I repair my relationship with my dad, maybe I can finally like be with Chloe and have like a normal relationship, a good relationship. Instead of just the up and down, we can just be together. I can admit my feelings for it. But for him, it's like, if I tell you these three words, it would be a lie because it's like, not that he doesn't care for her deeply, but it's like, how can I love when I've kind of been like, you know, I have the complicated like issues I have. Like he's kind of been emotionally stunted to a certain extent, you know, because of all his issues with his dad and stuff like that. I'm sure the complicated relationship, obviously he has with his mom and everything, which that's a question. Like, is she going to, I mean, she's in her own dimension and stuff, but now that God's here, like what's the conversation going to be like about the goddess and everything? It's like, oh yeah, it's your mom. Oh, here she's doing well. Like when we get little lines like that, That'd be kind of an interesting element to think about. I'm just so pumped. I'm just bummed we have to wait till like the end of the month, dude. I, I need part two to season five now. I love Lucifer so much. It's such a good damn show. I'm just so pumped and I'm very excited. Obviously, these are just some of the things going through my mind based on what we saw. I'd love to get to know your thoughts. Do you agree with some of the stuff I brought up? Do you disagree? What are some things you want to see from this uh, second half of the season? What are some things you expect to see? Let me know in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Till the next time we need, be happy, be safe, little light to the force, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.